Today we're doing lesson 3.10, the numbers in subtraction. So we've done the math warm up and now we're on page 49. <clears throat> it says what's left? A pitcher contains three cups of watermelon juice. How many cups will be left in the pitcher if we pour each of the following amounts from the full amount? So we've got a pitcher, it's got one cup, two cups, three cups of watermelon juice, okay? And we need to take away one fourth cup. So first we need to write the equation. Write this down, three minus one fourth. <coughs> now, to have a visual that goes with this, I've brought this over. So I have three cups. Think of these also like $3 bills. If you've got to give a quarter to somebody and you've got only got three $1 bills, what do you have to do in order to be able to give someone a quarter? Jackson? Well, before, um, they might not have changed. So what do you have to do in order to be able to give someone a quarter, Autry? Break it you have to break it. Words. You have to break it, right? You have to break it up. So you got to get change. You got to break it, right? Can I take away a fourth the way that this is? No. Nope. No? What do I have to do then, Emma? You take the. I have to break it. Break it. You break it into fourths. So you take the one. Yes, this is still one whole, isn't it? But now it's cut. Okay, you with me? So we took one whole, Evan, and we made it into four fourths. Do we still technically have three holes right yes. here? Yes, but one of them is just cut. Who likes brownies? Mm -hmm. so no, no comments. Just hand up if you like brownies. Okay, so this one I'm going to tell you about brownies. I love me some brownies, but with brownies, if you cut them too far ahead of time, then they get kind of stale and crusty, okay? So the best kind of brownies are soft, chewy brownies. So, it, so you don't want to cut something apart unless you have to, okay? That's my point here. So I don't need to cut this hole, and I don't need to cut this hole if I'm only taking away one fourth. I only have to cut one of them. You with me, Macy? So if I take three holes, I turn one into four fourths. Now, can I take away one fourth? Yes. yes. And what am I left with? Two holes. Two holes and three, three fourths. That's your answer, okay? So three holes minus one fourth equals two holes and three fourths. Write that down. <coughs> okay, now we're starting over with uh, three full cups. This time we have to take away five, <laughs> not four, not six, but five fourth size parts. How many of these holes do I need to cut up? Colton? Two. Two of them. Because if I cut up one, that's not enough to take away five, is it? Yeah, there's only four. There's only four. So I've got to cut <coughs> two of the holes. <coughs> and now I can take away one fourth. Two fourths. This is really hard for me with my fingernail. Three fourths. Four fourths. Five fourths. And what are we left with? One and three fourths. Okay. So write your equation. Three minus five fourths equals one and three fourths. 
Okay. Want to see something kind of cool? Yes. On the back side of these, it says 25%. On the front side, it says one fourth. How many quarters are there in one dollar? Shout it out. Four. 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 And how much are e is each quarter worth? Twenty-five percent. Twenty-one. That's twenty-five percent of one whole. Exactly. Twenty-five percent of one whole dollar. Which is one fourth. Which is one fourth of a dollar. All right. Math and money go hand in hand. All right. Let me see if I can get this. Money is math. Money is math. Yep. To get a job, you have to learn math. To do anything, you have to learn math. That's true. That's true. Math is math. Okay, here we go. We're starting with three holes again. Now this one, we're going to take away one hole and one fourth. Just look at the fraction side first. Think about that and tell me how many holes we need to cut apart in order to take away one fourth. Fisher? Um, one. We just have to cut one, okay? And now we can take away one fourth. And we can take away one hole and we're left with one hole and three fourths. Look at those two answers right there. Don't do what I'm doing now and put a box around them. But what does that tell you about these two numbers? Jackson? Um, that they're both um, equivalent to each other. They are equivalent because one whole and one fourth is the same as five fourths because one whole is four fourths. Mm -hmm. Yep, so those two uh, in the reddish pinkish are equivalent. Okay, next one, we start with our three holes again, and this time we're taking away two holes and two fourths. So, we got our three holes. <coughs> well, I'm gonna leave that one there. Okay, three holes. One, two, three. I need to take away two fourths. So, Olivia, how many of these holes do I need to break away to take away two fourths? Just one of them, right? So, I'm gonna break apart that guy. Get rid of two of the fourths. Now they're gone. But then it says I still have to take away two holes. So this hole's already over here. This hole's going to be over here. And that leaves me with just two fourths left. Okay? All right. And all these make sense because if we add the fraction parts back together, Two fourths plus two fourths is four fourths, mm -hmm. and two plus four fourths is the same as three holes. And then if we combine three fourths and one fourths, that would be four fourths, or one hole, plus one hole plus one hole is three holes. Okay? So you can work backwards and check. A second pitcher contains four cups of water, so one, two, three, four, and we're going to take away one third cup. Four minus one third. So let's draw a picture that goes with this um, because you won't always have access to this guy, right? So we're going to draw a picture because over the next unit, you guys are going to have to drew, draw some models to help you solve some of these problems. So, we're going to draw, I'm going to draw a big rectangle here, but I'm not going to put the end on it yet. Zerelda. And I'm going to go 
One or four of these, okay? I only have three of these, which is why we're moving to drawing, okay? Um, if I want to take away one third, what do I need to do? Think about that for a second while I close the door. If I want to take away one third from four holes, what do I need to do? Cameron, um, shade in one of the We're not stones. shading anything. And you, we're going to draw a picture on all of these, so you need to make this much smaller. Okay? What do we have to do, Mary? we got to break a hole, right? Break it into how many parts, Mary? <coughs> Look at it again. What are we taking away? One what? So how many thirds are in one hole? Three. So this time, because, so under, under the holes before, I had four fourths, right? But since our denominator is three this time, this is what we're splitting the hole into three thirds okay so i'm gonna and i'm gonna split it into three sections and i'm going that way just so it looks so i can tell that i've split it and not made a bunch of boxes that are not the same size okay okay all right so now i've got one two three four holes but one of the holes got cut into three thirds Evan, how many do I take away? What do I take away? Um, what, what was the question again? What, uh, what do I take away? Now that I've got my picture drawn and I've got my hole broken, what's the, what's it say next to A? Um, we take away one third. We take away one third which is one of these guys that's split into three, right? Okay, so I'm gonna cross out one of these. And what am I left with? Shout it out. Four two and two thirds. thirds. Three holes two and two thirds. thirds. There you go. There's only three of them that are still holes, right? Does that make sense? So the ones that aren't broken are the ones we're going to consider a hole. Okay, you with me? Yes. Okay. On the next one, we're starting with four again. So I need you to draw four squares. And you can use that top model to help you with the sizing if you did a good job splitting it. And now this time I need to take away five thirds. So Fisher, how many holes do I need to break? Two. Two of them. Because if I just break one, I'm just gonna have three thirds, but I need at least five thirds. So I'm gonna break two of the holes. Now I can start crossing out one third, <coughs> two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, and five thirds. So the equation four minus five thirds equals two, two holes two. and one third. Two and one third, very good. <clears throat> okay, starting to make sense? Cameron, are you making understanding? Okay, so if you can see that you're running out of room, you can always back it up. Okay, so you're gonna have to make your numbers a little bit smaller. Okay, last one. Got to draw another four yeah. boxes. Now. 
Now, just looking at the fraction side, <clears throat> we need to take away two thirds. So Evan, how many holes do we need to cut? So if I cut one hole, how many thirds am I, I going to have? Two. I mean one. Just one, right? Because if I cut this one into thirds, can I take away two thirds? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to split this one into thirds, and then I'm going to cross out what I'm supposed to subtract, which is two thirds, but also two holes. So four minus two and two thirds equals how much is left? One, one whole and one third. third. Not two, Avis. One, 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 uh, one, one whole and one third. One, one whole and one third. We're looking for what is not crossed out. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, good deal. I'll leave it up there for a second. Um, so on the next page um, is going to be a activity that you're going to do with a partner. And I'm going to give you a bunch of cards. And you're going to split the cards into two piles that make sense to you. I'm not going to tell you how to split them, but what I would suggest, Jackson, is that you lay out all the cards and you start looking for similarities and say, well, and, and sort them into two piles, not three piles, not groups of two, two piles. Okay, and then I'm going to come around and you and your partner are going to tell me what each pile represents or why you chose what you chose, okay? And then we've got three more problems uh, that we'll do after that.